beautiful. I love it. Thank you so much, dude. You're the best. <laughs> I told him that. I was like, I can at least make your life easier. <laughs> Oh man, and like this is just gonna be better. Also, what do y'all think of the graphics so far? These are some new graphics we're doing for the the weekly thing here for the the Smash Fest. Uh, we're gonna be doing uh, we're gonna be doing more of these for future events. But right now we're getting into game number one with me Sword Fighter, all standard color uh, look, nothing special. And on FD at that, I'm actually kind of surprised you allowed this to happen for me Sword Fighter. Yeah, no, for for player four, like you try to camp you. What happened? They, yeah, I what, think they were. They, was, that, that, was that actually in game? The that's the nooch. Yo, I have. That's a taste of the neutral. I have never seen two people straight up stare each other down like back to back, <laughs> and it was actually not a button check or something. Also, we were talking about getting cooked. Reggie, when he gets in, he do got that damage too. When he's warmed up, he's got the combos. Out of like almost all of the pitch players that I know, barring I guess Ling, because I don't see Ling too often, but yeah. like, barring Ling. Peach with ridiculous neutral, scariest creature in the world. Oh yeah. Because then you have to eat like the damage for interaction. I hate that. Sometimes Reggie don't got this. Yeah, true. Dude, I Reggie hate, got the neutral. I That's hate a scary tornado so much in so many aspects that it's so good. Like not hating on high tech for using it. I'm hating on the fact that he didn't get the attack, so he's dead. But hey, <laughs> yeah, tornado forces you into a situation where you're in so much hit stun. If you air dodge, easy mix up. If you are jumping too much, he could just challenge you and get a free combo out of it. And frame traps like that. And he's dead. Yeah. All off of one tornado. Mm -hmm. Nice set knockback, right? Yeah, it's, well, um, I believe so. And I think at percentages it goes a little bit higher, but pretty much it's almost always true comboing into up air. So, like, it's just the hit stun on it. You're always, you. Actually, yeah, I think it is set knockback. Now that I think about it. I'm trying. I busted. I feel like it's, it's, it's just so good at later percentages, and it does nothing as far as zoning is concerned. Yeah, and now, I know you already see it too. He's starting to get a little bit too obvious with his jumps and his floats. And what way that, what's the way that hindsight's gonna check there every time? Throw Chakram. Chakram at it. It's Chakram time. Sure, one of the best, most versatile projectiles in the game. It's behind this goofy ass character. Yep, it's so good. It's literally a free ledge track. If you get neutral get up in front of that, you're dead. It's, it's just such a solid projectile on its own, right? And that's not even counting when you like mix it up to do like the little float ahead of you and then come back where it just stays in place. Mm -hmm. It's like imagine if you were just playing a worse fire up on demand. Base oh my god, uh oh. Oh, uh, well, uh, we uh oh, in many regards. Not only was there a stitch of it that got <laughs> caught, but Reggie forgot what it was like to grab lead, so now he's forced to hold this. Like that like everything about Everything about me, Sword Fighter with the lead, is actually like so underrated in this game because of how many other great characters there are. But this character has nasty. People too busy traps. getting mad at the me's existing to worry about the fact that they're not bad characters. Yeah. Like Sword Fighter, my opinion, one trick pony. But that one trick that he does, if you don't know it, you're just gonna eat. Like you're just gonna get eaten alive. Yeah. This is a very, very like right there. He's now now he's conditioned him into this point where he thinks he can constantly get caught by that, and you just. Like, it's just one of the most important characters to know your matchup for. Especially the fact that you get down throw up air and you just die. Yep. Like, like what are you supposed to do about that? If you don't have the practice, like, how are you supposed to know this character just comes to you like that? Yeah, you just, you just gotta hold that. Like, you literally just, like, reacting to Tornado is one thing. Then also reacting to the fact that this Chakram is so fast to hitting you. Then, I think, uh... Without stale, it's like 20% on up air, it's 16% with, with stale, and it kills. Like, so we're like, not even talking about like, you can get grab out of an air, in which almost every character in this game would die to have that. This thing has it. Yeah, if you got a good nair, usually you're in a good spot. And even with how like much it lingers, it's still such a good option. He's got Kirby-sized cloud bear. Which like is just as good in its own as it sounds. The counter pick from player four actually makes a ton of sense. For one, he's been putting in the work to like try and comb in each mm -hmm. alongside the Aegis. And for another, I feel like the overwhelming speed of Nethra and just the power behind the discharge that Pyra has definitely makes this a bit more suitable matchup. Yep. If there's one thing that me Sword Fighter can struggle in, is people with good burst range. And <laughs> he struggling with nine, he's getting mixed. But uh, one of the things that does um, become an issue is people who outrange him, especially with kill power. So as Pyra becomes an issue later on, it might be a problem. I think he actually feels pretty comfortable here staring down Mithra because, for one, he hasn't really been hit by much, but two, He's not going to get outranged, nor is he going to take nearly as big of a punish compared to the Pyro. Ooh, that empty hops. Just jump in his face. 
I feel like you gotta be more aggressive with grabs with this character. I like playing with her personally as like, mm -hmm. a little grappler. She's lightning fast. She gets pretty alright follow-ups. But like if your opponent's constantly either getting like tossed around or juggled. Oh, oh what a cute combo, Reggie. Right? I like that too, because it covers the it covers if he was out of range if he tried to air dodge in. Uh, and the worst thing that happens on hindsight, you know, he takes some damage, he doesn't get knocked off stage. Good, good on hindsight too, but this is where scary stuff happens because of that move right there. Unfortunately, he didn't follow up, but he catches the Ferrado. That is so, it's so deceptive. It's so much range and that kill power on it. It just makes you frustrated because you try to outspace him, you just can't. Okay, Py Pyro buttons are OD. Like, her movement, not the best. Like, honestly, the same can be said for a lot of characters in this game. They're slow as molasses, and then if they hit you, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you play. Yeah. Yeah, I, actually, yeah, that's pretty true. Like, there's a lot of, as long as you have good new trick you're saying before, obviously the wide stage meta that we kind of live in doesn't benefit most of them, but you have seven minutes to you. You can make it work. Oh, yeah, and it's like, even if you're playing, like, let's say Kalos. Let's say, for argument's sake, Reggie manages to take this game and then, like, next game for a Kalos. Uh, or just switch to Pyra, rush in, switches, uh, switches to Mithra, like, goes in, switches to Pyra, plays neutral. It's like effectively warping across the stage to get it done. Yeah, this kid, like, Mithra is so good at basically force you to ledge, switch to Pyra, then ledge trap. Like, that, that's the win condition with this character. And you can see, like, before, Hindsight was consistently doing the same thing he did before with, uh, against Peach. Kind of waited for a reaction. I think Reggie's finally caught on to that. Yeah, plus, like, right. Oh, oh good God. Suck. Yo, he really tried to do it to him. If he had Light Chakra him and if he, like, full hopped with it. Actually, yeah, that might have confirmed in the up air, or even if he wanted to, he could have double SD'd with, yeah. uh, with the up E, because that does force you very far off stage. Oh, yeah, no, it's like a weird Octoslash. Yeah, it's basically Diet Octoslash, but don't tell Hindsight that we said that, because it's like, it came out first! Like, yeah, well, here's the thing. Which one of these came out a long time ago? I'm going to shut up, because he I ended mean, up getting KO'd. Really I've been calling <laughs> Joker's Nair just better sword fighter Nair forever. Oh yeah, that is exactly the same like animation. They're both like this the both like weird wind ups that are like kinda slow and also Loki confirms into like a ton of stuff. Mm -hmm. Alright, right, you really just gonna do it. That's yeah, it's yeah. trying to catch him pressing buttons. Like I, I mean it's good at low percents, but better be careful. Oh, up there, there you go. Even game. Big sword. Oh, a little bit of schmoopment. Diet schmoopment. Ba basic uh, <laughs> Day one schmoop. Oh my goodness. The this character is just like frame just frame traps the character that's quite literally what me sword fighter is over and over again that down air is so good too good job not going low because you would have died like honestly like it's the one thing that he can do really well mm -hmm. and i feel like hindsight's one of those kind of players that's gonna like force people to recognize that this character is at least something like y'all can keep bitching but that's not gonna stop him from playing no. the character. No, not at all. Like he is—he's been committed to the cause of this character ever since he lost like Mewtwo, switching to this game. And honestly, I think this has just been a significantly better pick because of stuff like that down throw up air. That is a good kill confirmed forever, and that's actually that's two zero going to hindsight's favor. Greg, what, like great shot to, to hindsight. I definitely like I—I I thought that was gonna go like game three at least in my view because player four has always been a threat in the region. But I think matchup and familiarity definitely caught him off guard. Yeah, there. I know. Sword Fighter is definitely an ankle breaker. If you don't know what's good with the Miis, then you, mm -hmm. you actually only have the option to sit there, take the L, and bitch and moan about someone playing a 